right, really quick. Um, I have an ST215 uh, alternator and an ST204 Celica alternator. Uh, the ST215 is off the newer 3S GTE, the fourth gen 3S GTE, and all of these parts lined up on the bottom are all ST215, fourth gen 3S GTE. Um, this is 5SFE. Okay, considerably smaller alternator. It's, it's probably about, I don't know. It's a lot smaller though. You see the difference in the thickness. This one's a lot bigger. They both fit my alternator bracket on my uh, third gen 3S GTE. The problem is <clears throat> the same thing I had with a Camry alternator that I, right now that I have on the car. <clears throat> the Camry alternator is, has this style, this is off of the ST215 um, alternator. The Camry alternator has this style with the post that goes straight up. And the problem with it, so like when it's sitting on the uh, on the alternator, it's like this. And it goes straight up, and this side bumps the hood. Okay. ST204, 5SFE, off of a 95 Celica. Um, this is off of this alternator, this piece that I have here. Um, and <clears throat> so this post points towards the exhaust manifold, which is good, which is what I want, because I don't want it to touch the hood, I don't want it to rub through my insulation and one, look bad, but the main thing, I don't want it to arc on the hood. So I had the bright idea last night, I was like, you know what, I'll just, I'll just mix the alternators together, take them apart and see if it's possible. The internals of this one, I'm not taking it all the way apart, I'm not taking any copper out, I'm not taking back shell off, although you might be able to do that even though this one actually this one kind of looks like a larger diameter than this one so I don't know if that is actually possible but what I am going to do is I'm using this I don't actually know what I don't know what any of this is called but this is just a big chunk of metal there's no um I mean the, the, this is a smaller one yes but it's made to fit the size of this alternator so me putting on this one doesn't really change much except when I put it on, the brushes, everything slipped. I'm actually using the brushes from the 215. So this is from, is this? Yeah, these are from the 215. So see, these are gonna, this mixes in fine with this big copper piece, whatever it is. Um, so I'm gonna put those on and I'm actually using this too from the 5SFE alternator. So with all the parts just kind of sitting here, these are the brushes in the middle. I actually know what those are called. Um, well, I think I know what they're called anyway. They might be called something else. I don't really take alternators apart much. I rebuilt a starter once. But anyway, so this is ST215, 4th Gen 3S GTE, as well as the alternator. ST215, 4th Gen 3S GTE. These other parts, this, um, which looks like a regulator, um, is <clears throat> off of the 95 Celica 5SFE so that alternator this part came off of that and so did this everything fits with the exception of this I mean it, it still fits it just needs longer screws right so when I put this with one hand I need to figure out a way for like a head mount thing so I can actually use both hands while I'm doing this stuff now, fit. Anyway, I think I bent it. There we go. Um, if you see these little screws, there's like four little screws that hold this in the side. Right? They go here, they screw that in. You see how this, these little metal stubs that stick out, that are just like these. These little metal stubs that stick out right here, they're right up against that copper piece. So when I take this off, because of the thinner diameter, slimmer diameter of this go on there you see that there's that huge gap um, which looks like it's a little less than a quarter inch gap between this and this which means I'm gonna need longer screws because these little guys don't cut it it's too short I stick it in it doesn't even reach so I have to get four more little ones no big deal and some kind of a little metal spacer um, to go between here and there so whenever I tighten it up it doesn't um, 
yeah. And for the shell, I've already marked where I'm going to cut it out. But the only permanent marker I could find is the green one, and you can barely tell. But the hole through here, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to cut it out, and I'm going to enlarge the hole here for the uh, for the positive power output of the alternator. So, and I'm still going to use this one. Reason is because this doesn't really fit on here that well. I mean, it's like this post goes through fine, and the uh, the regulator plug or whatever I don't know whatever you call it um, part of the regulator goes here. <coughs> So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to uh, use this one. So, this one's too small. It doesn't fit. It's, uh, yeah. I'm excited to have a bigger alternator. That's, that's always fun. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's always fun doing this kind of stuff. But anyway, so I just need a little spacer there. And, like I said, I'm using the, um, does that go on the bottom? Get a second person to hold a camera if you make videos like this. It is life changing. Not even my pinky's small enough to. Yeah, it is. Alright. There. Okay, so that's like that. So that's how that's going to sit. And this has to tighten it up. And once I put this on, oh, one more thing. I almost forgot this. I chipped that off intentionally. Where's the little piece? I sawed it. I scored it with my hacksaw. And then I just took my long pliers. Those are really nice, by the way. The R ones, really handy. So I took them and just used them as a hammer really quick. And just a couple little taps broke this little post off so that this could fit. So now it fits. It's good. Doesn't touch anything. Um, doesn't change anything. All this is is like a little guide. Whatever. It's not gonna damage the alternator in any way. So I broke that off. And then, uh, yeah. So, like I said, this is 5 SFE off a of 95 Celica. So is this. Um, brushes from the ST215. Um, I don't guess you have to use those. You can use the other ones because the, the diameter of this um, uh, that comes out of the inside of the alternator, the diameter of this is exactly the same. So you could actually use whichever one you want because they're both the exact same part it looks like. Um, it's just these brushes, these brushes inside of here, if I'm even calling them the right thing, they don't push against the alternator um, as hard as these do. So, I don't know if that makes a difference. I don't, I don't know, but, um, yeah, this is going to work fine, as long as these parts work fine. The reason I'm doing this, actually, and not using this, this alternator bolts in fine. It's a 5SFE alternator. Bolts in fine to the 3SGTE bracket. The problem is, you see this? That is snapped off inside, um, and I can't get it out. It's, uh, it's frozen in there. It, I don't know. It just, I guess the metal corroded around it, but I mean, this bolt goes all the way through to the bottom, you know, and I've got all this corrosion, so I can't really get it out. So I have a good alternator that's a junk alternator. Um, mm -hmm, what else? Yeah, that's it. I mean, everything else fits fine. It's just way smaller. So this one is considerably thicker. It's like literally, it's like a half inch thicker, and the diameter looks like it's about, man, maybe a, oh, let me see. Looks like it's almost a whole inch larger in diameter. So, yeah, it's gonna have a higher output. That's gonna, that's for sure. So that's good. So higher output alternator. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, this, uh, I will definitely post a comment if this doesn't work. But I don't see why it doesn't. I mean, it's not really uh, messing up anything. So, thanks for watching, and I don't know. Good luck doing the same thing if you are.